Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Toyota Prius. Now, you've seen Priuses in the past, but this is all new, both inside and out. New driveline, better fuel economy, and best of all, they've sold over 20 million Priuses, or Pri, over the entire life cycle of this vehicle. Now, this new generation has a lot of changes. Let's get started with what's on the outside. The first thing you're gonna notice is obviously it looks completely different. There is a one design silhouette for the whole vehicle. And by the way, there is a plug-in version which we've already reviewed. It's called the Prius Prime. That's on our channel. Let's get started with the headlights. The first thing is you're gonna notice is this new signature design, which is an LED running light. Really cool looking and makes this vehicle look very futuristic. You'll note that this new front end has the Toyota logo, but also down below, you're going to see this new shape of this front end, and that makes this vehicle, again, look more modern. It's also slipperier through the wind, which makes it have better fuel efficiency. Our test vehicle rides on 19-inch alloy wheels with all-season Toyo tires. There are three trim levels, the LE, the XLE, and the limited trim grades. There are six exterior colors, and this Beyond Zero Design driveline has a wider stance, a lower driving position, than its previous generation, which makes it more nimble and more comfortable to drive. You'll notice this vehicle rides two inches lower and it's one inch wider. All this gives better handling and better comfort. You'll notice the body color handles, this new modern edge silhouette, which I think is really clean, and the black trim on our test vehicle makes this vehicle look pretty cool for a hybrid vehicle, but there's even more. As we work our way to the back of the vehicle, there are a few things you might notice. You've got the handle up here for opening the second door, but in addition, you'll notice that there is less overhang from the rear wheels to the back of the vehicle, giving you more space in the vehicle, but also that longer wheelbase gives it better handling and allows this vehicle to be lower, which again, gives better fuel economy. When you work your way around to the back, you're gonna see some pretty cool details. These LED tail lights all the way across. This big piece of glass, which you've seen before with the Prius, but then additionally, it becomes a wing, which again, keeps us low drag coefficient, which means it gets better fuel economy. Our test vehicle also has the black with the blue, making it really cool. Marker lights are down here, and that Prius logo is right in here. You'll also see that Beyond Zero logo with that hybrid electric, which makes this vehicle part of the new design styling for Toyota. Your backup camera, but even better, there is a backup mirror. And that is a huge plus for a vehicle in this price point. Driver and passenger front seats are heated and ventilated. Of course, it depends on the trim level. And the seats are eight-way power, which is for the driver's seat and driver's seat memory. Three-stage heated and three-stage ventilated seating is available. Manual passenger side seating for the front adjustments. Going into the back seat, you'll note that there is some limitation because of the slope of this roof line, but they're seating for three people. Inside the second row, you'll find a pocket behind the passenger seat, but nothing behind the driver's seat. Behind the center console, you'll find single stage heated seats, it's optional in the higher trim levels, and two USB-C ports. There is storage in the doors, and there's also a grab handle for pulling out of the back seat. Behind the 60-40 split rear seat is cup holders. And that also has attachments for two child safety seats. Additionally, in the second row, you have a glass roof that is optional that is manual. And there's also one for the front. Now, technology and features are really important, especially when you're looking at a Prius. Now, the steering wheel is the steering wheel that you might be used to before. You've got your usual controls for changing your pages and changing the information in front of you. On the right side, you've got your safety features that you can be adjusted, your cruise control and modes right there. But in front of you, there is some differences. Now, what you are seeing here is what you might expect if you've had a Prius before. This has got the information you will need, including your safety features, the different modes that you wish to go to as far as your paging, there's a button on the left side of the steering wheel, and when you press that, you can go into your lane departure warning, which is some of your safety features right there. You can change the blind spot collision, 
as well as your forward collision. You can turn on your systems or shut them off, simple as a button. You also have your park assist right there and it's all on that Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which is right there in front of you. Now Toyota's trying to talk to me because as soon as you say its name, it thinks you're talking to it. But you can shut that off as well. That's your blind spot detection. So you don't hit anything for pedestrian cross traffic alert, your warnings, all of these systems are on and you can shut them off. That's for your cruise control, your active cruise control and your additional settings. All can be done right here. Just hold to change and you can change your units of measure. It's all right there, really easy to use. And I think that's one of the important features when it comes to safety. Going further up, you can change your audio controls right here on the steering wheel, as well as your adaptive cruise control. And there was additional settings there for a compass. You can go into your efficiency mode right here. Now, this information is also in your center screen, but if you want it here in front of you while you're driving, it's right here. So this is, we've been idling, so it's been sibling, sitting at that fuel economy. But if you wanna go back down, you've got your additional information for your trip all of your settings and your warnings if there are any and again we are at a full tank and it's 424 miles we've driven it a little bit 424 miles on a tank is quite a bit now that is as simple as pressing the button to go on or off on the left upper side of the steering wheel on the left side of the steering wheel you've got your heated steering wheel your defroster your automatic headlights further down you've got your fuel lock as well as your hatch and that's for under the hood. On the door of our test vehicle, we do have memory seat settings for two people and all of your traditional window lifts and mirror adjustments. On the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your park assist as well as your cameras and your on off power button. Standard is the eight inch multimedia screen. Our test vehicle has the 12.3 inch screen, which also has JBL audio system with eight speakers. Navigation system is current and up to date and super easy to use. Going into your audio system, you can pick your sources, whether you want Apple Music, Amazon, or you want your radio. Let's see if there's an AM radio available. There is AM radio, that is a plus. A lot of people are pulling that out, but smart on Toyota to have it connect your phone. Your car information is here. You have climate control that is manual, but you can also set an automatic climate control as well as additional eco-friendly options. Further down your trip information, giving your average fuel economy, while well, someone was getting 100 miles to the gallon, that's pretty impressive, let's go into the history. Average is 40.6, a lot of sitting around idling to review these cars. Here's your energy flow, showing whether you're on the battery or not. If you're using an all-wheel drive system, it will either go onto the battery or the gasoline, depending upon what you're doing and how you're driving, and your vehicle alerts. Further down into your settings, you can go into your different settings and of course your adjustments for everything you need and the safety feature adjustments are in the screen in front of you. Further down you've got this really flashing blue you see. The vehicle's idling is actually not flashing blue, it's what the camera is picking up. But that's pretty cool. The vehicle is blue and also on the higher trim levels you can also get it in red. Three-stage heated, three-stage ventilated seats automatic and climate control adjustments are here really nicely done very well styled and a massive improvement as well as this i don't know if you can see this detail here but it's pretty cool this aluminum detail that runs all the way along the dash up into the curve of the dash pretty cool it's also important to note that there is standard apple carplay and android auto as well as a wi-fi hotspot and there is a fixed glass roof on this vehicle as well digital key power back door, and lots of additional features, including that advanced parking. There is wireless charging, I'll show you in a minute, but this is for two USB ports here, and a regular outlet there. Further back is underneath here is additional secret storage. Maybe you wanna hide something under there, your wallet, or who knows? You can tell me what you would hide under that little cover. There's two cup holders. And this is your charging for your phone. You slide your phone in here and it's charging. This is your shifter. When you put your foot on the brake, you just pull it back for drive, reverse, park. Very simple to use. 
Further back, you have your different drive modes, which is sport, custom, pull back for normal or eco. There's your EV drive mode, your auto hold, parking brake, and your trash control. Underneath the center armrest is additional charge ports if you need it. I'm sure you're asking, are these safety features invasive? Some of them are just so aggressive pushing you back into your lane. This is very low key. You can shut them off, but honestly, I have every single safety feature on right now, including lane departure warning, blind spot detection, and it's very mild in how it pushes me from one way to the other. Under the hood is an improved two liter four cylinder inline engine with an increase of 196 horsepower and an acceleration of zero to 60 of seven seconds. That's considerably quicker than the previous generation, which was only 10.7 seconds. So we're three seconds faster in the current generation. Fuel economy on the new Prius is 49 miles to the gallon in the city, 57 on the highway. That is fabulous. Or you can get even better if you go in with the plug in hybrid, the Prius Prime, which we've reviewed before, like I've said. Overall, this vehicle is improved in every way, shape and form. The 2023 Toyota Prius earns 57 miles to the gallon combined on the base model with the 17 inch wheels. Go to the XLE or the Limited and you'll get a combined 52 miles to the gallon, which is still improved and that's on 19 inch wheels. The horsepower of this two liter inline four cylinder engine is 194 horsepower, which is a massive improvement, 60% increase over the previous generation. The all wheel drive model gets the permanent magnet rear wheel drive, which is good for an additional 40 horsepower. Every trim level from the LE to the limited can now be had with all wheel drive and the all wheel drive LE has the biggest fuel economy of 54 miles to the gallon combined, and that's up from 49 miles to the gallon on the previous generation. Currently driving in the sport mode to get an idea what it's like for mid acceleration. In other words, you're driving at 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, you step on the gas, you need to pass or avoid a situation. This is where it's important to note that a vehicle needs to accelerate, which is why when you say, why is zero to 60 important? It is important on on ramps and situations such as that. I do like how quiet this turn signal is. I don't even know if you can hear it. It's just quiet enough that you can hear it, especially with the vehicle off. Really nicely done is it makes it more luxurious, even though this is not a luxury car. So we're driving at 30 miles an hour. We need to accelerate for whatever reason. We put our foot in it in sport mode. It's, I mean, it's not a race car, but it's enough to get around a situation. Now, if we move it back to the normal mode, where most people will be driving it or in the eco mode, you get a pretty good acceleration. It becomes a little bit loud in the car, but you have to remember, this is a small engine that has a hybrid powertrain. And that's what makes this vehicle what people want to buy. They want something that has enough acceleration to get around a situation if needed, but at the same time, it has a nice ride and good enough acceleration to get you around a situation. Now, let's talk about why this vehicle is more fuel efficient and has better performance, because they've enhanced not just the engine, which is gasoline powered, but also that electric hybrid portion. So if you want to go into the eco mode, and we'll go into that eco mode right now, you still have good performance. It still picks up. If you wish at the slower speeds below 40-ish miles an hour, you put it into that EV mode and that won't do it. Let's see how slow I have to go for it to kick in. I'm at 34, 33, 32, 30. No, it doesn't want to do it until I go into, um, up there it is, up to about 25. Let's see what happens. Oh, as soon as you hit 26 miles an hour, it switches back to a combination of gas and hybrid. So it's good to know if you're just cruising around, looking at something, certainly something that would meet your fuel economy needs, which is why the fuel economy is so good. It also gives you an EV driving ratio. So right now I'm doing 40 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone, and it says 86% EV driving ratio. So you're getting really good fuel economy. And I think that's a very important part. I have left this energy screen on so you can see what I'm doing while I'm driving and get a feel for its performance level. Now, one of the things that's really important is they moved the engine forward and the battery further back, giving you dramatically more space, both on the interior, front row, back row, and cargo space. And that's good for you because no matter what you're driving, it's always about having places to put things and having that comfort that's really important. Now I'm gonna go out of the eco mode into the sport mode just for fun. 
This is not going to change your driving dynamics. It's going to change some of the shift points, which is important to note. But one of the things I think that Toyota did that was super smart is giving you more room on the inside, changing that horsepower, increasing that as well as the fuel economy. And the results have been a vehicle that has nothing but rave reviews. And I agree. They really thought about who's buying this car, why they're buying it, and what they're going to use it for. And the results have been this. Now, this part of this is also your feedback. If you're a previous Prius owner, you probably got communicated in one form or another when you purchased the vehicle or later on at another time, you may have received some information. It's important that you answer those surveys because it helps the manufacturer build a better car for the next generation and each model year trim level beyond that. We're going to do a U-turn and see what the turning radius is like because this is important if you've got to turn around to the edge here. This is pretty good. I turn a lot of vehicles around here. This almost makes the full circle, which is pretty impressive. Backup camera shows you what you need. And also you have that Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, which is standard, which is that blind spot detection, forward collision warning, all the things that you want that are standard with Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. And I think, again, safety is an important factor when you're buying any vehicle, especially if you're putting a new driver in a vehicle like this. This is a great vehicle. It's fuel efficient, gets them where they need to be, and hauls plenty of cargo. When it comes to cargo space, there is 27.4 cubic feet of storage. There is no spare tire underneath this is storage for your tire inflation product. And the seats fold down 60-40, giving it the most space of any Prius made. The best thing about the Toyota Prius is the price. If you're looking for good fuel efficiency and great value, this vehicle starts at $32,350. Our test vehicle was at $37,000 and the top of the line fully loaded is $39,000. If you're looking at a Toyota Prius Prime, which is a plug-in, it's gonna be a different price point. Again, check that out on our channel because if you're thinking about a plug-in, you're going to get that tax credit through a lease, not through a buy. But you can buy this vehicle and get phenomenal fuel economy and that's what the Prius has always been about giving you the efficiency the comfortable ride but this is even better so if you're looking at a previous Prius maybe you've owned one you thought eh, you gotta take this for a drive it drives better it handles better it rides better this is literally everything improved about this vehicle that Prius owners wanted but didn't have before more cargo space as well there is a ton of positives now you might th be thinking about the competitors there's a quite a few competitors when you're looking at Honda Toyota and Nissan and other brands like Kia and Hyundai I suggest you test drive every single one in the category before you make a decision then check with your insurance agent and find out what the rates are going to be because that's going to help you make a decision on what's available. Now this vehicle is new, so there are no incentives available today, but if you're looking at this vehicle down the road, you might be able to get an incentive or maybe even a lease deal. Right now there's nothing available as this vehicle is brand new and it's also running for North American Car of the Year. It's got a good shot. I think they've done an amazing improvement and I suggest you go look at one in person. We appreciate your support. You can like and share. Tell all your friends about the new Prius. Have them take a look at this video. We do appreciate that. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well as for our website, podcast, the book, and of course my social media at Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your like and your support and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.